Alright hi guys, so this video is going to be my review on the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. So this is what mine looks like and I have been using it and I actually filmed a tutorial, a really simple tutorial but the clip got messed up because I don't know if you guys know but my laptop isn't really working properly and it's just a whole lot that's going on. But um, <clears throat> I just want to get to the meat of the matter. I'm not, I'm in no way bashing Jaclyn Hill nor am I bashing Morphe or this palette. This is just my experience with the palette and um, with, with me working for it for so long. I've had this now for about two weeks and I've been using it consistently and I had for like probably a couple of days I've been using it every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, swatching, putting on my eyes, using it on my lids. I used it in a Snapchat tutorial before. Um, and I just want to, I just want to tell you guys my experience and what I think about the palette. No one asked for my review, but it's a very popular palette and I know a lot of makeup artists, especially us Jamaican makeup artists, we're looking to get, you know, more trendy items for our kits, right? So, when I order the palette, it comes with, this is a card, which I think is so boss. So, the, an, an example of the look, Jacqueline holding the palette and some information here and on the back of the card, you have the names of the, um, the names of the, of the, of the colors. The names of the colors aren't anywhere else. On the back it just says Jacqueline Hill, Morphe X Jacqueline Hill. So, the, the name of the palette isn't anywhere else. Now, a lot of people are talking about it being messy and getting messy quickly. I just spray my, um... Um, brush cleaner on it and then wipe it off and it is back to being brand spanking new now let's get to whether or not I think this palette is good this palette is for me an introductory palette it's just a well hyped up affordable introductory palette why I say affordable it is $38 not including shipping or taxes one two three four one two three four five one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With I think 35 colors, isn't it? For $35, um, 30 for 30 for 35 colors and it being $38, I like the price, um, the price point of it. Now the colors are you have a good array of colors, but my issue is they don't work well on my lid. Um, the colors aren't as vibrant on me and this um, black I believe it's called abyss abyss is like a really dark gray on me abyss does not show up black at all I've been using these colors mostly because they're the ones that have you know the, the vibrancy the vibrancy they're the, they're the most vibrant ones for me that shows up on me I'm talking about now when I look at different looks that Jacqueline has done with the palette she's light skin you know like she's caucasian she's she's not as 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 melanin driven as i am and this palette does not work for me at all i i, I was going to say they're really good transitional colors but they are they're really good transitional colors but if you guys know this i had given away most of my palettes and i only have my juvia space palettes left and honey they're giving me transitional colors house down. They're giving me pigmentation house down. They're giving me wearability house down. Now, I've worn this palette with my Shades by Gala Light Shadow Magnet and also my LA Pro Primer White Base. And I've worn these two with my Juvia's Place and the only crease on me with my Juvia's Place if I don't blend it out with my finger. Now, I've done the same with this, and this thing still creases. If you guys watch my Fenty video, the Fenty foundation and primer review, when I was talking to you guys, this is the palette that I wore that day, and the whole of my eye was creased. It, it, it's just, it's just, a, it's just, for me, a huge disappointment for me, because for somebody like Jacqueline Hill, who's just, who did not start out as a, um... As a, as, as a YouTuber or, or, or as an everyday person. She was a makeup artist. She was working at MAC. She was one of those people who just loved colors. But this is just not doing it for me. With Juvia's Place palettes, Juvia's Place palettes work on every single skin tone. They show up. And for this palette to drop the way it did and to be constantly selling out the way it is selling out. For, I don't, I, and I'm just, I cannot get behind the hype with this palette. I really can't because these palettes are hyped up, which I get. I'm not trying to come for Jacqueline. I'm not trying to say, Jacqueline, I wear the hoodie that don't work. I'm not trying to come for her. I'm not trying to say that this palette is whack. But for me, it just doesn't work. 
it doesn't work and I would not recommend it at all in your kit. I really wouldn't. You have so much other palettes out there. And I'm speaking to Juvia's Place. Um, the Too Faced palettes as well. I have the Too Faced chocolate bar palette. Um, the Urban Decay um, palettes. Listen. Mm. Mm -mm. I, Juvia's Place don't have any palette for $38 with this amount of colors in there. You understand? So I understand this. But these at best are transitional colors. Why am I going to spend $38 and use just a couple um, colors out of this for transitional colors? Where I can just grab one of my Juvia's Place and I already have several transitional colors in this. And it's like $28 or probably $30 or something like so. No, as I say, I'm not trying to come for Jaclyn Hill nor am I coming for anything at all. And I'm just not, but because I've been using the palette, and I've been using it on Snapchat. I've been tagging the company, tagging, Jack, tagging Jacqueline Hill. It's just a disappointment for me. And there's a lot of... I don't know if you guys are into YouTube um, like that. But if you keep your ears on the ground, there's a lot of controversy that's surrounding her. Which I personally don't believe. But again, that's just my personal preference. I just don't believe it or whatever. But this palette... I would not recommend this palette. As I say, they're amazing for transitional colors, but why would I buy so much just to only pick out a few as transitional colors? It is okay. It is not, girl, you need to, <laughs> like, what is you doing? What is you doing, bubba? What is you doing? What is you doing? It's not like that at all, at all, at all, at all. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but this is my experience with the palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette um, uh, by Morphe or in collaboration with Morphe. And for me, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work for me. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So that's it <laughs> for this video, you guys. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you in the next video.